Welcome to Chalk Talk with Sean. I'm going to talk a little bit about some maintenance to take care of in your home. Uh, during the winter time, we see a lot of these ice dams cropping up with this weather that we've had with the extreme cold and a lot of snow. So you'll notice ice dams, obviously you'll see just ice build up on the edge of a roof and a lot of times a long icicle coming down. You see those in every neighborhood and that's an indication of an ins issue with your insulation or venting. So what happens is the heat from inside the house goes up into your attic space heats the roof and melts that uh, layer of snow right in contact with the roof. The water runs down until it gets to the cold section of the roof and freezes. And that just builds up over time and then creates a situation where you have water sitting underneath this ice. And what it does is it goes back up your um, shingles because they're, they're meant for water to flow down. But if it pools up under, the water will go under the shingles and come in contact with your roof, um, the wood, the sheathing, and it will drip into your, your uh, first into this area, which is unfinished space. And you'll notice if you have icicles on the outside of your, on the siding of your house or in your soffit, that that's the start of what's gonna end up happening inside your home. And you have moisture damage up in your attic and then possibly in your ceiling. You obviously don't wanna wait until that happens because you have to deal with the damage inside the home. You wanna take care of this ice dam, first of all, get it removed. And then you're gonna to have to look at either doing um, a number of different insulation solutions, starting with fiberglass, which you can get at a home store and do yourself. You can do cellulose yourself as well, it's a little more involved. Um, spray foam closed cell is not something you are gonna do yourself, but, and that's, this is the Cadillac of insulation. That's gonna give you the highest rating for the smallest amount of space taken up. Um, the other thing to do that is, is very important with this is venting. So that you basically want to have any insulated space. Beyond that, you want it to be the same temperature as outdoors. So you either insulate the, the ceiling part of your attic or you can insulate the rafters, in which case the rafters have no gap between the roof and the outside. But that's often done with, self, with foam or, um, spray foam closed cell. So um, check in with me if you have any other questions about that or how to... if, if you know, it's a thing you can tackle on your own, um, possibly, but in, in some of these cases, you're going to probably want to get a roofing contractor, somebody who knows this stuff in there to consult with why you're having that, that problem. And then um, also we have people that can help you with this, the ice dam itself and getting rid of it. This has been an episode of Chalk Talk with Sean. Thanks for tuning in.